Hi, and welcome to the Cranky Old Man series. I'm Gary, and I am the Cranky Old Man. Let me tell you why I put this together. I had a quest. I wanted to do some things in my 60s after retirement, and I wanted to buy some nice things. I worked for 50 years to get to this point. I figured, hey, have a good time. But you're not 20 anymore, so you can still have a good time. You just have to do it a little bit differently. Now, this particular series, the one that you're watching now, is about finding a way to have an all-inclusive luxury cruise on cruise brands that are not known for being all-inclusive or luxury. But you can get it done. You just have to work at it. Now, how did I get to this point? Well, when you want to buy... I hate to say it this way because I'm just cranky. When you want to buy luxury items and you go online and you try to find information on them, there's very little pieces of information. I can tell you why because it was the business that I was in. People who buy those things don't have the time or the patience to write a review. So the only people that write a review are the people that are really angry with the brand or the product. And you can just tell by reading those reviews that they're just as angry as I am. So I said, you know, there's some things I want. And there's things I want to do. But I'd like to have some information on this so that if I'm going to invest the money, then I invest it wisely and I get what I want. And or, like with cruises, I know what I'm going to get and I know how to set it up. I establish something that's so important. I establish some expectations so that when I go there, it's about what I thought it was going to be. And I don't get disappointed. Because when you spend money on something and you're disappointed, quite frankly, kind of takes away some of the joy. And that makes me even more cranky. So, what did I do? Now remember, this is all about luxury cruising, trying to put together a, a luxury experience with my family that's all-inclusive and relaxation. I get it. But how did I get to this point? That's important. Well, the first thing that happened was, unfortunately, I had a stroke. And it was an acute stroke, and I'm okay. I can't remember stuff so much. I can't remember stuff so much. I can't remember stuff so much. But that's going to happen to you when you get older anyway. The issue was, I said, hey, um, I'm going to retire, so I might as well have a good time. I love music, so I started my quest for luxury products with four-day music festivals. And uh, I looked at Bonnaroo, and I looked at the Hangout Music Festival, and I had this area that you can go that was way up there. It was like VIP or Super VIP or Platinum. Just no information on it. So I drilled down on every single source I could find until I got enough information that made me feel comfortable paying the premium to do those things. And once I did them, guess what I did? I did a very detailed manual about my experience and I posted it and I sent it to the owners of the, the different festivals and people seemed to like it. So I started to do that on all kinds of luxury products. Things like super automatic coffee machines. I know that sounds crazy but we love coffee and they're expensive and there's no really good customer centered information. So I got what I could get, I bought one and I did it. Did the same thing on home automation. Computers, two-wheel two -wheel electric scooters, nice ones, luxury ones. And I put it out there. And what ended up happening, people reached out to me and said, it's about time somebody provided us with this type of information. So now I'm going to focus with you on cruising. People seem to love cruising. We're going to get back to it. I know COVID put a cramp in it for about a year and a half. We're going to get back to it. But you got to understand, uh, I started cruising on my honeymoon 41 years ago. And since then, we went from an inside cabin all the way up to our next cruise that, knock on wood, if we ever go on it, will be the deluxe owner suite. Now, I could never have afforded that. I'm going to say that up front. But with all the cancellations and the future cruise credits and the 10% offs on the next cruise, I was able to manipulate the system 
and take my entire family on that cruise. Now, my goal was to improve my cruising experience and now improve it not just with my wife but with my entire family of adult children. You can do it and I'm going to show you how but it's going to take some work and hell, it's COVID. We got some time. Might as well put some thought into it. Now before I do and I get into this in depth and I'm going to get into it in depth whether you like it or not because I'm, I'm just cranky. I'm going to tell you that some people that read my material say, hey, just go on vacation. Take it as it comes. Chill out. Not my nature. I can only chill out if what I've done is I've organized it in such a way so I could just go there and not have to think about things. That's why I go on cruises. I don't have to think about how much it's going to cost me to go out to dinner. It probably cost me less if I went to a restaurant. I just want to prepay the whole damn thing so at the end of the, the, end of the seven days you know when they stick that little envelope under your door that tells you how much you owe them? It says zero. That's my goal. I just want to have it all handled before I even get on board. You can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Again, are you willing to put in your due diligence? I did. So that's what this is all about. Improving your overall cruising experience and getting your information from a client, not a marketer. And that's somebody who wants you to buy their, their products and services. Not someone that just goes through a room and tells you things and says, Hey, book it with me. You can't book a thing with me. I can't, I can't take your money. All I can do is give you some advice from somebody who has been there and looks at it from a client's standpoint. So that, that's what you're going to get from me if you continue to watch this series.